Hey guys, hey, good evening. We are, what time is it? It's four o'clock. So I got some baby back ribs on here. Uh, only been on for probably an hour and 45 minutes. And so I have it just below 300, about 280. I like to stay around 275 when I'm doing ribs, okay? Between 250 and 275. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so I got all nine racks in. And I tell you what, look at this beautiful color. I just felt like doing baby back ribs. That's all. We're going to spread down, take some temps, and we're going to go in the back because I'm just running some wood. Um, uh, mostly wood, but a base of just regular old briquettes. Let's check some temps, then we're going to spread. Ooh, I love that smell. Post oak. Come on around and stop. Okay, let's stop at this one. When I tell you, when you get a... This, this, this pick gives you an even cook. Even color. Even temp. I did uh, I did six briskets last night. And I'm telling you, it was blistering cold with the wind. Man, I'm talking about in the negatives. Uh, it did okay. It struggled a little bit. Uh, but I had to switch. I had to switch my material from, um, from lump to briquettes. Because briquettes burn longer and they burn consistent. So I, I went with the briquettes last night. Okay, so I got 150 on the top rack of the the baby backs. Let's see, let's see, let's get a different different temps on the bottom versus the top. We'll go with the okay, 130, 140. Okay, up top. Okay, 150. So it's about about 10 to 13 degrees difference. Let's do one more. Let's go check out the wood. And so I got nine baby back ribs on, I got two on rack. So if you're doing baby backs, you can get two, two racks, I mean, uh, two ribs per rack on the bottom. Let's see where we at. One, get up. 130, 132, okay. Okay, so the tops of the, the smaller racks are run about one, 150. 155 and then the ones on the bottom rack about 140 to 145 so that's that's not bad beautiful okay let's check the bottom let's stop yeah i know i know you want to see the bottom that's okay these ribs are for me only and the family oh that looks good too we're gonna give the bottom a little bit more time okay yeah so the top does Okay, cook a little bit faster. Not by much, but you can see the difference in temps. Not in color, but in, in uh, internal temp. And so I'm going to go just a little bit darker. I'm digging the color right now. You know, I can go ahead and wrap. Um, I don't like to take my ribs to 165, you know, when it comes to you know, wrapping them. Because baby back ribs, they don't have a lot of fat, so you don't want them to take them too far before you wrap, because you still want to keep all that nice, good juice in there. And then you can add your own when you wrap them up. That's fine too, but I like to, I like to wrap the color. All right, let's go ahead and let's go check out the back. Let's put this back there. All right, let's close this up. Okay. All right, let's go see. So this is what I've been running. So this is number three. I'm not gonna add any more wood because uh, I'm good on the smoke profile. Woo, back up, back up now. Okay, so that's uh, that's my second piece of split on post oak. And I don't need any more. So I'm fine with that. And so I got both my vents, side vents wide open on both sides. And I got a cracked on the door. You don't have to, um, but if I want to get up the temp a little bit faster to like 275, well, up to 300, then it'll drop down to 275, then I'm going to crack my door. But I can close my door and it'll burn just like this. As long as you got a nice bed of uh, um, lit charcoal on the bottom. Okay. Perfect. And so, like I said before, I did like six briskets mm -hmm. last night. Came out phenomenal. They still... Uh, 
Uh, it, it took a little longer than usual because it was really cold. But when I wrapped up, man, I turned that propane system on. And I tell you what, it was a lifesaver. You know, because once I wrap, I don't like to add any more, you know, charcoal or lump. Just turn that propane system on. Beautiful. I know y'all digging it because I'm digging it too. <laughs> All right, me and the pit boss, we've been going strong for about three years now. It might be time for me to change probably to the, the four footer. I'm looking at the four footer. I, I, I am. So we're going to see. Hey, blessings, and we'll talk to you later. Okay, guess what, guys? I forgot to do something. I did. I got to find me a piece that's hanging out. Oh, and I see it. Yeah, right. Right there. I like that one right there. Give me that. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, my. Oh, man. That's good. Man, that's really good. Oh, wait a minute. I got you. Oh, right, right there. Mm. I can't call it. That's good. Mark. Man, once again, somebody need to slap you in the mouth for making a good pit. Blessings. You guys have a wonderful evening.